interesting. I think for a very long period of time, maybe all of human history, some percentage of society may have had ADHD. And when you look at ADHD down this neuroscientific lens, it's really clear that those with ADHD have genetically low levels of dopamine production, which can be seen as a big challenge, but it also can provide some serious advantages. And we'll go into that. So it can be a genetic experience. And You'll remember back to school, there are some kids that go really hyperactive and then they crash and really hyperactive and they crash and they struggle to sit still and focus and things like that. And it's very likely that from the moment they were born, they had slightly low dopamine levels. It's important to understand that even if that is the case, if it is genetic, there's a hell of a lot of stuff you can do to support it. In our modern world, we are now creating ADHD through our behavior because rather than genetically being born with low dopamine levels, we're actually artificially creating low dopamine levels by constantly burning out this machine. If, for example, you got in a car every day and didn't put it into gear and rev the engine, eventually that engine is going to burn out. And every day that we wake up and we have social media and we have loads of sugar and watch pornography or drink alcohol, we overstimulate this pathway, which causes the amount of dopamine it can produce to progressively reduce. So if you're looking at it, you've basically got genetic, could be born with it, low dopamine, or you've got more behavioral ADHD happening as a result of our modern lifestyle. 